Hello everyone, welcome. Today we'll talk about Google Forms. Google Form is a tool that allows collecting information from users via a personalized survey or a quiz. The information is then collected and automatically connected to a spreadsheet. So let us try and demonstrate that how can we create some quizzes using Google Forms. So let us demonstrate the creation of quizzes using Google Forms. So as you can see that we have the Gmail ID logged in with us. Now, what we can do is we can click on the Google Apps button. Then we can click on Drive. It will redirect us to the page of Google Drive. The way we try to open some of the Google Docs, Google Sheets, similarly from Google Drive, we can create a new Google Form. We can click on new here and the moment we click on new, we have the option of more. If we select here, we have the option of Google Forms, whether we want to have a blank form or if we want to have a form from a template. For instance, let us click on from a template. Again, we are being redirected to a page of Google Forms. So this is the first method of opening a Google Form by using a Google Drive. Another way of opening Google Form can be if we close this tab and the drive tab, we can simply type google.com, that is the search engine that we use for searching any particular word or information. And here we can write Google Forms. So the very first website available with us is Google Forms, free online surveys for personal use. Once we click here, we are being redirected to a page from where we can go to Google Forms. Once we click on go to Google Forms, again, we have reached the same page which we could see when we had opened a Google Form using the Google Drive. Now, there are some predefined templates available for creating a form, just as a blank, a customer feedback, blank quiz, some contact information, RSVP. Also, there is a detailed template gallery, gallery in which there are a number of templates available. Let us try and begin with simple a blank form first if we click here we'll be redirected to a page where we can see the layout of how the google form can be created now the very first thing again we do not have to save a google form it automatically gets saved in google drive in google cloud so we can rename this google quiz as demo quiz so we have just renamed the quiz. Now we had just clicked on the blank form to open this Google form. If we want to convert it into a quiz, there are two ways. Either when we are selecting the blank form, there we had the option of blank quiz. We, we could directly have selected the quiz from that perspective. Or after clicking on the blank form, we can go to settings, this option, and then we can click on quizzes. And we can select this option of make this a quiz. So what will happen by default, some options will be made available to us. We can click on save and here we can start creating our demo quiz. For example, the very first thing that we want to enter is that we want the students to fill in the uh, information very carefully. So we can enter a message that please fill the information carefully. So as we have seen that in some registration forms that we fill, the very first page is where they ask about the basic information and some details begin with the next page. So we can create different sections also for our respective quiz. Now, when a student will open this quiz, he or she will first of all see the name of this quiz as demo quiz. And then he or she will be able to read this description regarding a quiz. Then we can also mention this quiz contains 20 questions of one mark each. Now, since in the beginning, we uh, think of fetching some personal details of students like name, class, roll number. So we can simply enter name here. Now, this particular section, if we can see, this is depicting one particular question of our quiz. And we have different forms of responses. So Google by default here has selected this answer to be in form of short answer type as it could identify that we have asked for a name. 
This using the drop down menu, we can select the different forms in which we want to receive our answer. For example, if we want a student to respond in form of a paragraph, this can be clicked. If we want to have some multiple choice questions, we can have some check boxes, drop down menu. We can also make a provision for a student to upload a file as a matter of response to a question. We can also have some linear scales that might be used in case we want to have some sort of feedback. Then multiple choice grid can be used. Checkbox grid can also be used for fetching the response to any particular question. Now, the very first question that we want to add for our students is that he or she should enter their name. Then we have the option here. Either we can duplicate a particular question or we can delete this question in case we feel that the question has been entered by mistake. Then it is also possible to make the question compulsory. Here, if we click, so the question will be made mandatory for a student, which means he or she will not be able to submit this Google quiz until and unless he answers all the questions that have been marked as compulsory in this quiz. Now, for this question, since we are simply trying to fetch personal information, so we do not want to have any kind of answer key or any kind of scores here, and we leave it as such. Then let's add another question here. Next, we want to have the roll number from students so we can write down here roll number now again we want to have the answer in form of a short answer type since the student can enter his or her complete roll number now it is often seen that students sometimes commit a mistake while entering their roll numbers or by chance in some cases they might enter an alphabet whereas the roll number if in case is available only in numerical values so we have the option of response validation here by default, once we add the word number in any question, so Google itself adds a response validation. The response validation means that in this particular response, a student will be able to type only certain numbers. Any kind of alphabets will not be accepted in this form. Now here we can also have the validation in form of text. We can fix the length. For example, we want to have mobile number of students. So the length can be fixed. Some regular expression, if it is required, we can have that also as a validated response. Now here, it is a number and uh, the response that student will feed would be in form of a number. We can also make this question as required. Now, once we've taken the name and the roll number, another question, for example, we can add with respect to a class. Now, suppose we have prepared a quiz that is common to three different classes with different sections. So we can have the responses now in form of either multiple choice or in form of a drop down menu. Both of these could be suitable in this type of question. For example, rather than putting classes here, we'll just put class. Example, the first option that we want to give them is BA first year. Then another option we want to give them is BCom first year. Another option we want to give them is BSc first year. So now in this case, the student can opt out that to which class he or she belongs to. Also, if we want to have, we can have it in form of a drop down menu. Now again, we can click on required and this question has been automatically added in our Google quiz. Now after fetching all these information, now we want to start with our questions. So we have this particular pane, which will help us in adding some other information. For example, we use this for adding a question. We can use this option for importing some questions from already existing Google quiz that we have created. We can add a title or a description to a particular question. We can also add an image. It is possible to add a video as well. And this is the option from where we can add some sections. So let's click here for now and see what happened. Now, when a student clicks on the link for this Google quiz, the very first page will end up to this class itself. And the student will have to click on next for moving to another page and start working with the quiz. So here you can mention quiz begins here. And the description can be all the very best. So again, we can click on add question. And the question can be written here. For example, can Google form be created without active internet connection? And we can have the option of 
yes or no so now we have the option of answer key once we click on answer key we can select the desired option from here we can allot how many points do we want to assign to a particular question and we can click on done so this is how a question gets added into a google form we'll continue with rest of the features of google form in the upcoming videos so stay tuned everyone thank you